Hey guys, this is Mario and I'm here on my balcony in Vancouver. It's a beautiful night as you can see here and I just read an article and I decided to make a quick video for you guys on a topic that I feel like is the biggest problem for guys who want to get results in fitness in the gym and guys who are also into self-improvement, reading and gathering knowledge and learning more, right? That's the kind of person I am and if you're watching this video, you'll probably relate a lot to that because you like to improve yourself in areas of your life, right? And if a guy who is searching for a magic pill would stumble upon this video it's probably gonna make him throw his phone off the building because it's not gonna not gonna resonate and basically what I'm gonna talk a little bit about today is like what separates the guys who get it right because I was a guy who didn't get it the guy who didn't click for a very long time and at a certain point of time I kind of discovered what is what was keeping me from being consistent? Like, what is what is actually consistency? Like, what is the point? Like, what do you actually do? You know, there's a lot of all this knowledge. You don't know what to do. So that's what I'm going to be talking a little bit about today. And basically, if you apply these solutions that I'm going to talk about here, you're going to get to that next level, right? You're going to get your results. You're going to get your consistency. You will be on the path to that body of your dreams. You're going to get in the best shape of your life because it's really inevitable, right? This is one of the key components. And if you don't apply this, basically, I would say, I mean, I really hate to use the word impossible, but in this case, if you really don't apply this, I mean, it's chances almost zero that you're going to be able to get that body of your dreams because it's a, such a crucial element uh, when it comes to success in fitness, right? So what is the, what is the issue here? Well, you'll watch my videos. You're going to watch videos of other YouTubers such as like Brandon Carter. You're going to watch like Omar Isar for these guys. And you're gonna see that the 20, 30 percent of the comments we get is always like, guys, hey, dude, like I already knew that. Like, why are you making content that I already know? Like, why are you not giving out new stuff? And I guess the the end, like where they're coming from is that there has to be something new. Like that's the problem, right? Why are you not Why are you not sharing the secret with me, right? And I mean, the guys are not really to blame, right? If you, if you look at the whole industry, like if you look at the whole fitness industry, for example, like it's a really good example, the health industry, it's all based around pushing new content, right? It's all about the ad revenue. It's all about like getting those banners up on the website, get, driving a lot of viewers, like clickbaiting people into visiting these websites. And you know what I mean when I say like the, the mass confusion, right? Because there's so much information out there that contradicts each other, but it kind of drives more traffic. So people are still doing that, right? And basically the solution I'm gonna introduce today was kind of inspired by a book called The Checklist Manifesto. And I wrote down a study from that book, which I found very, very interesting. I think it, it's the exact thing that I needed to hear if someone would tell me this like three years ago when I was stuck in that purgatory where I was searching for the next big thing. If someone would just told me this and if I would actually do it, I would probably like shortcut my results by a few years, right? So what is the solution, right? As Peter Drucker said, like the most simplest quote and the best quote I ever got from Peter Drucker was like, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Now, this guy is like the, the founder of modern management. Like this guy is like the, the badass guy. He's working with tons and tons of companies and people. And basically, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it, you can't improve it. So the solution coming back to the book, The Checklist Manifesto from Atul Gavande, it's a really, really cool book. I would highly urge you. This guy is actually a surgeon and a Harvard professor. And I'm just going to quickly read out a study that he used uh, as an in introduction in his book. And somewhere it's like it's a really good study. And basically in 2004, nine hospitals in Michigan began to implement a new procedure in their intensive care units, right? And overnight, all the health professionals were, were stunned by how much success they got from that, like how much more people they managed to take care of. So three months after it began, the procedure had cut the infection rate of ICU patients by 66%, right, 66%. Within 18 months, this one thing saved $75 million in healthcare expenses. $75 million, that's a lot of money to be saved by one little thing. Best of all, that single intervention, that single thing they implemented, saved the lives of more than 1,500 people in just a year and a half. And the strategy was immediately published in the blockbuster paper for the New England Journal of Medicine 
and the <laughs> the miracle thing the miracle solution was a simple checklist so why did this work like why does a simple checklist save 75 million dollars and save uh, oh, like about a 1500 lives right and it was just simply a let's say, let's say here it's a five-step checklist and that was like a no technical improvements there was uh, no new drugs discovered no cutting edge procedures basically what the physicians did is just stop skipping the steps right they already knew what they need to do but the problem was the consistency right so going back to the, the, the to the issues like everybody knows what they need to do and i mean implementing something occasionally the thing that you know works implement it occasionally and implementing it consistent consistently is two different things right and a lot of guys kind of confuse the whole thing like okay yeah i know that i don't know eating protein is good but eating protein three times a week uh, like your daily goal matching your daily goal and eating protein seven days a week two totally different stories and two totally different results that you're going to get out of it right so the solution that I found that works the best for myself, like for my clients and for pretty much everybody I ever worked with was adding some form of tracking, like adding some form of measuring. And it's very, very easy to implement this, especially when it comes to dieting and training, right? There's apps that make this process so much easier right now. So the two apps that I would really recommend right now is for Android, if you're using an Android phone like myself, the app is called FitNotes for training, so measuring your training, so you can actually keep track of your PRs and keep track of your workouts and the app for ios i think it's called strong so i'm not really sure about that but i'm gonna research i'm gonna leave the link below in the description so you guys can check that out so these are the two tools i use for basically for recommending people how to track their workouts for the diet the tool the primary tool i use is my fitness pal you can even use a basic notepad you can use other apps that are similar to my fitness pal they're very very easy to find but what this tracking gives you is the actual insight if you've been consistent and i was pretty much shocked when i first started tracking myself i was like damn you know i was eating all this food i had pretty much crushed it in the gym but then i noticed i would kind of occasionally miss a set or i would have picked the wrong weight to begin with or it's kind of like miss to hit my protein goal some days or some days i would go under my calories over my calories that normally i wouldn't even notice right because the, the things you're already doing you're kind of putting less value on them than the things you kind of are new the things that you just discovered and that's just simply how the brain works right we have that novelty factor that we attribute so much value to that's how like the 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 headline like oh this weird trick that coke why you need to use coconut oil every morning when you wake up you know that that kind of shit you just click on that right you you need to know what the new secret is and compare that to the thing when someone says oh yeah if you just uh, not don't miss your workout you're gonna get your result right it's really not sexy it's not flashy it's like oh, I already know that but again what you already know and what you're already doing consistently are two very very different things and this is simply what I've encountered in my journey and that kind of elevated me from looking good but going to that next level when I was looking great and I'll get a lot lot stronger as well and now I'm applying the same thing with my clients and pretty much I would urge you as well to apply this so basically the key takeaways from this video would be number one is forget what you already know if you're not implementing it if you know what already works you should do that first and then apply all the new stuff basically what you already know the fundamentals are your so-called meat and potatoes while you sprinkle on the new stuff new research everything that is pretty much discovered so far so for training that would be like a simple concept like progressive overload proven over time you basically know that if you get stronger in the gym if you lift more weights if you progress in that matter that you will get better and look better and be able to lift more and, and get a better body the second one if you manage your calories and your macronutrients that's pretty much the fundamentals everything on top of that is just pretty much icing on the cake you know you already know what you need to do if you've ever heard about those concepts if you haven't i'm gonna leave some links below in the description so you guys can check that out and the third takeaway i would say from this video besides like handling that training and nutrition the third takeaway would be implementing some form of tracking 
to make sure that the things you already know that you're already doing them that you're doing them consistently right without tracking there's really no way to know i mean we're, we're incredibly biased to like uh, think that we did more than we did or that we kind of uh, misreported the amount of food we ate and all these things so really the brain is not to be trusted with recall and i think there was a study that uh, i think there's like a 40 percent error in uh, recall when they do like diet studies and they try to ask people okay how much did you eat there's like up to like 40 percent difference in calories when they actually measured people and what they reported so it's a really really interesting thing there's a lot of studies and i'm gonna actually be making a lot of more videos on uh this little subtle study that most people don't know about in the future so i hope you guys uh enjoy this type of content and if you enjoyed this video leave me a comment below click like below the video and i definitely want to hear your idea so definitely leave that comment and let me know if you've kind of experienced yourself uh this problem where there's a lot of that you already know but you're still kind of seeking something new and you're could have basically improved the consistency with the stuff that you already know works so hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next video and uh, goodbye here from lovely vancouver as you can see pretty much cool view i'm gonna let you guys enjoy this a little bit same this is pretty much where i listen to my audiobooks and uh enjoy the night and i'll see you guys soon peace